The anti-capitalist, anti-state and anti-domination political philosophy of anarchism has played a small, but important and colourful role in New Zealand politics. Anarchist groups today Today there are two small national groups based in Wellington and Christchurch, a national anarcha feminist network, bookshop, infoshops, social spaces in Auckland, Wellington and Dunedin, an online bookshop based in Christchurch and a publishing collective in Wellington. There is a national anarchist journal and a national independent news site for activists run by anarchists. Many anarchists are involved in, and have set up, non-anarchist projects and groups with similar values and have played a significant role in non-parliamentary activism. National Aotearoa Workers' Solidarity Movement is an anarchist communist collective with members across New Zealand. Beyond Resistance is an anarchist communist collective with members across New Zealand. The group is run from Christchurch, where it has been involved in community organizing around the recent earthquakes. It runs monthly discussion groups and shows political films. South Pacific Christian Anarchists is a Christian anarchism network with affiliates in New Zealand, Australia and SE Asia. SPCA was founded in Tauranga in 2006 and has held gatherings in Tauranga Moana 2006, Brisbane 2007, Christchurch 2008, Melbourne 2009, Wellington 2010, Otaki 2011, Hokianga 2012, Ruatoria 2013. The 2017 event is being planned for Tauranga. Affiliates are involved in a wide range of social, cultural, faith and political contexts and a number have been involved in high-profile non-violent direct actions, most notably in New Zealand. The temporary closing of the Government Communications Security Bureau Waihopai spy base in April and May 2008 after the base was entered and the radome slashed with pruning sickles and actions in Australia including infiltrating in 2009 the Talisman Sabre War Games Live Fire Area at Shoalwater Military Training Area in Queensland, disabling a Tiger Armed Reconnaissance Helicopter at Rockhampton Airport in 2011 and witnesses at other military bases in the Northern Territory, Queensland and Victoria. Many affiliates of the SPCA also have ties with the Catholic Worker Movement in New Zealand and Australia. SPCA founders Manu Kadi and Graham Cameron were interviewed by the U.S. Anarchist podcast which side in episode 187 webcast on 6 June 2016 about the origins of the SPCA and current activities. Graham Cameron articulated some of the political tenets and theologies of the SPCA in a blog post in May 2016. The group have produced a few editions of a zine called Co-opted, Kia Natahi. Topic. Anarchism in Auckland today There are two main anarchist projects in Auckland today, Aotearoa Workers' Solidarity Movement and the Auckland Anarchist Network. Anarchists are actively involved in projects such as the Tumeke Cycle Space a DIY bike workshop initially set up by anarchists and Auckland Action Against Poverty a beneficiary and unemployed direct action group. There has been a small continued anarchists milieu in Auckland over the past decade. Auckland anarchists have tended to focus on starting or being involved in broader activist groups, one-off actions and projects rather than starting anarchist-specific political groups. These include, Auckland Animal Action 1996-2006, Anti-Genetics Action 2004-2005, Anti-War Direct Action 2004, Global Peace and Justice Auckland 2004 Today, Anti-Bigot Action 2005, Campaign Against the Taser 2006-2007, Civil Rights Defense 2007, Reclaim the Knights and Slut Walk. Auckland anarchists have only tried to set up permanent anarchist-specific political groups a couple of times, Black Cat 2005, and A Space Inside 2006. A Space Inside ran a national anarchist conference in 2007 and later became the Auckland Anarchist Network which focuses on being a consistent communication point for anarchists rather than a propaganda group. There was also an attempt to set up a social space in 2003 called Echo. Like previous generations of Auckland anarchists, they have often gravitated around inner city flats which have included 8 West Terrace 2004-2005 and Necropolis 1990s-2007. 
West Terrace provided a space for young activists who later formed Radical Youth and Necropolis was Auckland's most important punk space for over a decade. Like other major cities, many anarchists in the past decade got involved during the anti-globalization movement including at an anti-APEC rally in 1999. Auckland Anti-Genetic Engineering Rallies 2003 and Anti-Iraq War Rallies 2004 interested new activists in anarchism. Another important group at this time was militant direct action animal rights group Auckland Animal Action 1996 Although not an anarchist group, many anarchists were drawn to the group's militant direct action. Auckland Genetics Action 2003 was an anti-GE group set up by anarchists and modelled on Auckland Animal Action and helped Greenpeace stop KFC from using genetically engineered soy feed. Notable Auckland anarchist activities Between 2004 and 2007 Auckland anarchists were involved in regular protests in support of imprisoned refugees, including Ahmed Zawi, an ex-Algerian MP, and three Iranian refugees, for converting to Christianity. On 1 September 2007 five anarchists chained themselves to Mount Eden prison in support of one of the Iranians who was on hunger strike for 52 days. They were arrested and three refused to sign bail forms and refused to eat food. The Iranian detainee was released the next day. On 5 March 2005 a pro-LGBT anarchist organized counter-demonstration delayed 10,000 Destiny Church. Family values. Protesters from marching up Auckland's Queen Street for an hour. On the 22nd of March 2005 anarchists publicly complained about police brutality while passively resisting arrest for obstructing a footpath, following a peace demonstration that went inside an ANZ bank. Auckland anarchist groups Auckland Anarchist Network began in 2007 as a space inside at a famous Auckland punk location, Necropolis. The group ran a national anarchist conference in 2007 and later changed its name to the Auckland Anarchist Network. Black Heart Infoshop is Auckland's only anarchist op shop located on Karangahape Road, Auckland. Topic: <laughs> Rotorua. Rotorua People's Union is an IWW-style direct action community union, without paid employees, involved in workplace and unemployment issues. Prominent unemployment activist and anarchist Paul Blair plays a leading role. <laughs> Wellington Wild Cat Anarchist Collective <laughs> Historical groups Topic. National New Zealand Socialist Party 1901 July. Anarchist Alliance of Aotearoa, AAA According to one anarchist, the Anarchist Alliance of Aotearoa, AAA only had one member in June 1988. The Kiwi Anarchist Conference in 1992 formally adopted the aims and principles of AAA. Five groups were affiliated to AAA in 1991 Anarcha Feminist Federation 1995. Two Anarcha Feminist Group were established in Auckland and Wellington following the 1991 National Anarchist Conference in Christchurch. Sekhmet was the magazine of the Federation, produced by the Katipo Collective in Wellington. Otautahi, Christchurch Anarcha Feminist Group, which was formed in May 1995, become the second active group in the Federation. Presumably the Auckland group had disbanded. National Anarchist Conference have been run in 1991, Wellington, 1995, Wellington, 2001, Christchurch, 2003, Wanganui, 2004, Christchurch, 2007, Auckland. Regional conferences were held in 1995, Wellington, 2008, Christchurch, 2009, Auckland, and 2010, Wellington. An anarcha feminist conference was held in 1995, Wellington. A Christian anarchist conference was held in 2008, Christchurch. Topic: <laughs> Auckland. 1950s to 60s libertarian socialist group in Auckland. Unknown hippie anarchist Ponsonby flat in 1960s. Solidarity 1973-4 was set up by Graham Minchin, Steve Tanner, and Harry Robinson and involved around 10 people. 
Auckland Anarchist Activists was an informal group of anarchists based around a couple of inner city flats which were a focus point for anarchist activity. The Auckland City Unemployed Group was formed by anarchists and only lasted one year. There was a small group of around ten anarchists revolving around a Napier Street flat between 1976 to 7. Black Lagoon Anarchist Bookshop C1995. Anarchist Alliance of Aotearoa, AAA Black Cat Anarchist Communist Collective 2004-2005 Radical Youth Aotearoa New Zealand 2005 to 2008 was an autonomous anti-authoritarian and anti-capitalist group of young activists. Its major achievement was a walkout of 1000 high school students in 2006 to end youth pay discrimination. Cherry Bomb Comics is an anarcho-feminist online bookshop. Cherry Bomb Comics opened as a book shop in central Auckland in July 2004. It closed its doors in November 2007. Topic. Ponick, Wellington Freedom Group, 1913 July 9 C.1913 Kensington and Arrow Street Times Cat, late 1970s, was a situationist anarchist group. Katipo Collective C1991, was an anarcho-feminist collective in Wellington. It produced Sekhmet, the magazine of the Anarcho-Feminist Federation, from 1991 C1995 and organized national feminist conferences. Katipo Collective was the only anarcho-feminist group in this period until the Otautahi anarcho-feminist group formed in May 2005. Libertarian Communists the Committee for the Establishment of Civilization was launched in 1991. It initially met at Victoria University and soon became a city-based group. The group ran for ten years helping to start other local anarchist projects including the Freedom Shop. <laughs> Otautahi, Christchurch the Alternative Entertainment Bureau C1984 was an anarchist punk collective in Christchurch which aimed to provide cheap and affordable entertainment for young people. Its first gig reached a crowd of 1700. The group also ran Dole Day Afternoons. Members of the collective volunteered at the local unemployment center. Direct Action C1991 was a small group of older Christchurch anarchists including Frank Preble who had been active in the 1970s. Otautahi, Christchurch Anarcha-Feminist Group formed in May 1995 as the second group in the Anarcha-Feminist Federation. Anarchist Round Table are... Topic. Dunedin There was a small anarchist scene in the 1970s in Waitati, near Dunedin which included Bruce Grenville. In 2003 an anarchist infoshop named Black Star Books opened. Black Star Books remains open and active as of 2014 at a different location in the central city with a website. In 2014 volunteers of Black Star Books began contributing zines for a Zine of the Week column in the Otago University Critic Magazine. Topic. Anarchist tendencies Topic. Anarcha-feminism Anarcha feminism has played an important part in New Zealand anarchist history. Topic: <inaudible> Punk. Punk has played an important part in New Zealand anarchist history since the 1980s. A very loose community of anarchist punks throughout Aotearoa formed by the early 1980s and was well established by the mid to late 1980s. Anarcho-syndicalism and syndicalism Anarcho-syndicalism and syndicalism have played an important part in New Zealand anarchist history since the 1890s. History Early workers' movement In the early 1890s and 1900s syndicalism and anti-parliamentary socialism played an important and initially leading role as a current within the early workers' movement, especially in the Red Federation and then the Industrial Workers of the World 
Some members of the IWW were anarchists such as Sid Kingsford, or were sympathetic to the anti-parliamentary ideas of anarchism. 1951 waterfront lockout The 1951 New Zealand waterfront dispute was the largest and most widespread industrial dispute in New Zealand history. During the time, up to 20,000 workers went on strike in support of waterfront workers protesting financial hardships and working conditions. Thousands more refused to handle scab goods. The dispute, sometimes referred to as the waterfront lockout or waterfront strike, lasted 151 days from the 13th of February. The Waterside Workers Union, particularly the Auckland branch, had a strong syndicalist philosophy. Jock Barnes, also a syndicalist, was the president of the Auckland Watersiders Union from 1944 to 1952 and played a significant role in the lockout. The defeat of the dispute was considered by many parliamentary socialists as the final defeat of syndicalism as a viable trend within the broader workers' movement. Topic: 1960s, 70s and 80s social movements. Anarchism was popular during the protest movements of the 1960s, 1970s and 1980s. Anarchists were involved in the anti-Springbok tour protests including, 1960 New Zealand Rugby Union Tour of South Africa, Halt All Racist Tours Heart set up in 1969, and the 1981 Springbok Tour, the anti-Vietnam movement which began in the mid-1960s and the anti-nuclear protests during the 1960s, 1970s and 1980s. Topic. 1980s and 90s Unemployment Rights Movement In the 1980s and early 1990s anarchists were involved in dozens of small unemployment groups around the country. The unemployment movement brought in a wave of new activists to the anarchist movement, Te Rupu Rawakor, the National Unemployed and Beneficiaries Movement was dominated by the Auckland Unemployed Workers' Rights Centre AUWRC was led by Sue and Bill Bradford and involved a large number of anarchists. Anarchists also played a key role in the Wellington Unemployed Workers Union WUWU, which later became the Wellington People's Centre. In 1991 Te Rupu Rawakor split, largely due to a division in AUWRC between the Bradfords and their supports and the anarchists mainly punks. With NUM shattered, many activists left leaving the anarchists in charge of the organization, which final dissolved around 1993. 1999–2005 Anti-globalization, anti-war and anti-GE movements Between 1999 and 2005 anarchists played a key role in anti-globalization, anti-war, anti-genetic engineering and animal rights movement. 2004 Youth Rates Campaign During the SupersizeMyPay.com campaign in 2004 and 2005 anarchists played a leading role in Unite Union and Radical Youth to win the effective end of youth rates. 2007 Terror Raids Armed police raid and arrest 17 activists, including anarchists, for alleged involvement in a paramilitary training camp deep in the Urwira mountain range near the town of Ruatoki in the eastern Bay of Plenty. Topic: <laughs> Important dates. 1859 Arthur Desmond born. 1901 July, the loosely organised New Zealand Socialist Party was formed and included Sidnicalists and anarchists. The Wellington Group became a centre for anti-parliamentary socialists. 1908 New Zealand Socialist Party has 3,000 members and holds its first national conference. The conference condemns political action by a two-to-one majority. 1908 IWW first established a group in Wellington. 1910 Anarchists within the Christchurch branch of the Socialist Party leave to form an IWW recruiting union. 1912-1913 The IWW including Tom Barker and J. B. King are active during the Waihi strike and general strikes. 9 July 1913 The Freedom Group is set up by Philip Josephs in Wellington and lasts for a year. 
Rumor has it they have running battles with police during the Great Strike. 1950s, 60s, Libertarian Socialist Group in Auckland 1950s, Bill Dwyer moves to Aotearoa, NZ from Ireland. 1966 Bill Dwyer convicted for calling the Queen a bludger whilst speaking in Auckland in 1966. The 18th of November 1982 punk anarchist Neil Roberts dies during a suicide bomb attack against a facility housing the main computer database of the New Zealand police in Whanganui. Roberts was the only person killed, and the computer system was undamaged. 1984 The McGillicuddy Serious Party, a satirical political party, formed in 1984 in Hamilton as the political arm of Clan McGillicuddy established in 1978. 1986 Anarchist journal The State Adversary is launched. 1991 National Anarchist Conference held in Wellington called Kiwi Anarchist Conference and was hosted by the Committee for the Establishment of Civilization. According to one attendee, 60 people attended, mainly from Auckland and Wellington. The Anarcha Feminist Federation of Aotearoa was launched at the conference. The conference was organized to coincide with the annual World Day for Laboratory Animals March Against Vivisection. 1995 May 1 – The Freedom Shop opens. 1995 April – Regional Anarchist Conference held in Wellington. A four-day conference with a McClibble protest involving sponges being thrown at Ronald McDonald. 1995 National Anarcha Feminist Conference held in Wellington, hosted by the Katipo Collective. The third such conference. The 30th of November 1999 to 40,000 anti-globalization protesters join the Battle of Seattle or N30 protests again the World Trade Organization Ministerial Conference in Seattle N30. The 18th of March 2001 activists run a conference to set up a New Zealand branch of the People's Global Action PGA, an international anti-globalization network. Initiated by Aotearoa Educators and Committee for the Establishment of Civilization, the conference involved Tino Rangatiratanga activists who had been involved in PGA at a global level since February 1998. 2001 September – Interactive Activist Centre opens on 222 High Street, Christchurch 20–21 October 2001 – National Anarchist Conference held in Christchurch called an Anarchist Odyssey, focusing on responses to capitalist globalization, Hosted by the Anarchist Round Table 4–7 December 2003 – National Anarchist Conference held near Wanganui called Anarchist Tea Party National Symposium. 19 19th of March 2003 the second Iraq war begins 23 to 24 October 2004 National Anarchist Conference held in Christchurch called Anarchism in Action hosted by Anarchist Round Table 911 September 2007 National Anarchist Conference held in Auckland hosted by A Space Inside the 15th of October 2007 armed police raid and arrest 17 activists, including anarchists, for alleged involvement in a paramilitary training camp deep in the Urwira mountain range near the town of Ruatoki in the eastern Bay of Plenty. 11 to 13 July 2008 South Pacific Christian Anarchist Conference held in Christchurch, hosted by South Pacific Christian Anarchists (SPCA). Topic. New Zealand anarchists Arthur Desmond, c. 1859 to 26 January 1929, aka Arthur Ewing, Ragnar Redbeard, Richard Thurland, Desmond Dilg, and Gavin Gowrie, was a New Zealand politician, Australian anarchist, poet, and author. Today, Desmond is best remembered for his pseudonymously written books Might is Right and Rival Caesars. Lola Ridge, the 12th of December 1873 to the 19th of May 1941, was an anarchist poet and an influential editor of avant-garde, feminist, and Marxist publications, best remembered for her long poems and poetic sequences. Professor Alexander William Bickerton, the 7th of January 1842 to the 21st of January 1929, was the first professor of chemistry at Canterbury College, now called the University of Canterbury, in Christchurch, New Zealand. He is best known for teaching and mentoring Ernest Rutherford. He formed a socialist community in Christchurch called the Federative Home, which he later set up as a theme park. 
Tom Barker was an anti-parliamentarian socialist who resigned from his role as the secretary of the New Zealand Socialist Party because he didn't have a parliamentary mind and joined the industrial workers of the world. He was jailed for sedition for his part in a general strike in Wellington. Philip Josephs, anarchist, the 25th of November 1876 to the 26th of April 1946, was a Latvian-born Jew who was an active member of the Wellington Socialist Party. In July 1913, he helped establish New Zealand's first anarchist collective freedom group and was the main distributor of anarchist literature in New Zealand. Bill UBI Dwyer, the 21st of January 1933 to the 13th of October 2001, or William Ubeek Dwyer was an anarchist activist in New Zealand, Australia, England and his native Ireland, best known as the originator and principal organizer of the Windsor Free Festival. Malcolm James aka Malcolm Gramophone was an anarchist and an eccentric. He changed his name to annoy his father. He had a child with Fran O'Sullivan, later an editor of the National Business Review, and named him God Gabriel Galaxy Gramophone. Gramophone drove a yellow ambulance called the Intrepid Traveller. He wrote the Counter-Culture Free Press and the Underground Brewer's Bible and ran the Kropotkin Press. He mixed conservative and radical views supporting small business capitalism and opposed big business monopolies, especially beer barons. Neil Roberts 1960 November 1982 was a punk anarchist who died during a suicide bomb attack against a facility housing the main computer database of the New Zealand police in Whanganui. Roberts was the only person killed, and the computer system was undamaged. Topic Anarchism in New Zealand Popular culture The Dharma Punks is a popular and award-winning comic book written by Auckland artist Ant Sang. Set in October 1994 Auckland, New Zealand, the 384-page, eight-part comic tells a story about a group of anarcho-punk friends who plan to blow up a multinational fast food chain. The Dharma won the Eric Awards 2003 Best Serialized Comic and the Eric Awards 2004 the Gotham Comics, Stetler NZ Award for Best Comic. Topic literature Topic History Baraman, Toby 2007, Rabble Rousers and Merry Pranksters, A History of Anarchism in Aotearoa, New Zealand from the mid-1950s to the early 1980s Buchanan, Sam 2010, Anarchism in Aotearoa, New Zealand Davidson, Jared 2013, Sewing Freedom, Philip Josephs, Transnationalism and Early New Zealand Anarchism A.K. Press Preble, Frank 1995, Troublemakers, Anarchism and Syndicalism, The Early Years of the Libertarian Movement in Aotearoa, New Zealand. Fry, E. C. 1965. Tom Barker and the IWW. Netlau, Max. Unknown. Die Geschichte des Anarchismus. The History of Anarchism. See Chapter 10. Anarchist Propaganda and Industrial Unionism in Australia and New Zealand. Topic Other books. Gramophone. Malkin. 1972. Underground Brewers. Bibleth Standard Work on New Zealand Home Brewing for Years. The book was also known as Anarchist Handbook Number no. One. The book was written by Malcolm James aka Malcolm Gramophone and printed by Kropotkin Press, which he owned. Anarchism and Feminism. Christchurch, Libertarian Press, 1995. A reprint of articles by Margaret Flaws and the Auckland Anarcho-Feminist Huddle from the 1970s. Bolsted, Richard. An Anarchist Analysis of the Chinese Revolution. Christchurch, Christchurch Anarchy Group, 1976. Bolsted, R. The Industrial Front, An Introduction to the Past Lessons, Present Tactics and Future Possibilities of the Struggle for Worker Self-Management. For those who already had a suspicion there was something wrong with work as it is. Christchurch, Christchurch Anarchy Group, c. 1977. Baraman, Toby. Gthe New Left in New Zealand H. In On the Left, Essays on Socialism in New Zealand, eds. Pat Maloney and Kerry Taylor. Dunedin, Otago University Press, 2002, pp. 117-32. Baraman, TGTHE New Left and Anarchism in New Zealand from the mid-1950s to the early 1980s, an anarchist-communist interpretation, HPHD thesis, University of Otago, Dunedin, 2006. Buchanan, Sam. Anarchy, the Transmogrification of Everyday Life. Wellington, Committee for the Establishment of Civilization, asterisk 1999. Biz, Simon. The Brutus Festival. Auckland, Auckland Copy Centre, 1969, Churton, Wade. 
Gavi You Check the Children, H Punk and Post Punk Music in New Zealand, 1977.1981, Christchurch, Put Your Foot Down Publishing, 1999. Cumming, Alan. Understanding Nonviolence. Dunedin, Dunedin Nonviolent Action Resource Group, 1983. Cumming, A How Nonviolence Works. Dunedin, Nonviolent Action Network in Aotearoa, 1985. Davidson, Jared. Remains to be seen, Tracing Joe Hill's Ashes in New Zealand, Wellington, Rebel Press, 2011. Drosher, Werner. GTHE Little Black and Red Book of Anarchism, H. Unpublished Manuscript, 1977. Drosher, W. G. Toward an Alternative Society, H. Unpublished Manuscript, 1978. University of Auckland Library. Dwyer, Bill. Writing under the pseudonym B. Langford, Ganarchism in New Zealand, H. Red and Black, 1 1965, pp. 33–35. Gramophone, Malcolm. Get Lushed on Your Own Grog Can Underground Brewer F.S. Bible. Dunedin, Kropotkin Press, 1972. Innes, Wayne. Don F. T. Pay Taxes. Auckland, Social Analysis, 1978. Innes, W. How to Survive in Suburbia. Auckland, Pupake Press, 1981. Preble, Frank. Troublemakers, Anarchism and Syndicalism, The Early Years of the Libertarian Movement in Aotearoa, New Zealand. Christchurch, Libertarian Press, 1995. Preble, F. Jock Barnes and the Syndicalist Tradition in New Zealand, H. Thrall, 14 July, August 2000, pp. 4-5. Sargent, Lyman T. G. Beville, An Anarchist Commune in New Zealand, 1933–1973, H. Paper delivered at the 6th International Communal Studies Association Meeting, Amsterdam, 1998. Sargent, L. and Lucy Sargason. Living in Utopia, New Zealand F.S. Intentional Communities. Aldershot and Burlington, Ashgate, 2004. Sugate, Richard. Ganarchism in New Zealand 1900.1965 and today, H. Freedom. 28 August 1982, pp. 4-5. http colon slash 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 history slash nz slash freedom 1982.htm Topic. Journals, magazines and zines. Earwig (1969–1973). Earwig was an Auckland underground magazine edited and printed by Heather McInnes and John Mime, which at one stage described its stance as anarchist. Some regarded the publishers as hippie anarchists. Cock (1967–1973). Seventeen issues. Kick was an anti-authoritarian and anarchistic Wellington-based satirical political magazine edited by Chris Wheeler. It was also influenced by Camus' philosophy of the absurd and had as its aim to help overthrow the New Zealand government, by ridicule. Koch once said that, the only threat the communists offered to the National Party was that of boredom. Counter Culture Free Press Counter Culture was the most openly anarchist underground magazine at this time including anarchist articles and reviews. It was printed by anarchist Malcolm Gramophone who also ran the Kropotkin Press. Anarcho-pacifist, a.k.a. Anti-System, a.k.a. Social Dis-Ease published by Simon Cottle, a punk anarchist from Wellington who also ran his a radio show called Anarcho-pacifist. Cottle played an important role in promoting anarchism and animal rights within the punk scene. The State Adversary born 1987, TSA was launched in June 1987 by Bruce Grenville. Sekhmet 1991 was the magazine of the Anarcha Feminist Federation, produced by the Wellington Katipo Collective. The zine was named after Egyptian war goddess Sekhmet because it is a good name for a magazine making war with hierarchies. THR at LL Magazine 1998 July 2002 February 21 issues there at LL was a free class struggle anarchist magazine. It was published by an editorial collective influenced by anarchist communism, anarcho-syndicalism, situationism and council communism but was not aligned to any tendency or group. Issues 11 to 21 available free here 1. Aotearoa Anarchist 
Imminent Rebellion 2003 December Today Current Issue 11 Imminent Rebellion is a free or regular anarchist publication from New Zealand. It is the country's only national journal and has contributions from around New Zealand. Printed and bound by Rebel Press in Wellington, the insert states, hand bound with a hatred of the state infused into every page. Issues are available free here too. Topic. Broadsheets Solidarity, Broadsheet of the Aotearoa Workers' Solidarity Movement AWSM. SNAP Auckland Anarchist, 2008-2009 Four Issues, Publication of the Auckland Anarchist Network News from Nowhere, 2006 Five Issues, Publication of Black Cat Anarchist Communist Collective Topic. References Topic. External links <laughs>